they complement each other very well. As you all know, Reagan is very frugal with money. And Sparky, he spends money like he's a drunken sailor, man. Right? So they complement each other well. But I will say this, and I've been saying this all day, they have a strong faith, they love each other very much, and I know this, Christopher, I know that you will never hurt her, and I love you for that. So I truly believe that you guys are destined to have a long and fruitful marriage. And I hope that you give us lots and lots of grandkids, okay? I love you both. Take every opportunity to help each other. Take every opportunity to make life easier for each other. Take every opportunity to love each other. Take every opportunity to make each other better. And take every opportunity to lead each other to a life more intimately rooted in Christ. As we know, marriage isn't the destination, it's just the vehicle to get you there. Chris, <laughs> I love you, homie. So much, like so much. <laughs> Don't forget it. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Green heart. rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration dear brothers and sisters and now we stand with Christopher and Reagan on the day they attend to form a home of their own for them this is a moment of unique importance so let us support them with our affection with our friendship and with our prayer as their brothers and sisters Christopher and Reagan, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and His church? I am. I am. I, Christopher, take you, Reagan, from a awful life to have it to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. I, Reagan, take you, Christopher, from my awful husband, have you to hold from a safe forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, and And now together, let us congratulate on the very more inspired Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Kavoli.
So may you have no frost on your tomatoes, no moths on your olive trees. May your goat give plenty of milk. And if you inherit a donkey, may she be in full. May your marriage be incredibly blessed and like a great wine, like Merlot, may it improve with each passing year and may God bless you eternally and may you bring each other to heaven. Amen. Remember to love what makes each of you unique, to treat each other with the utmost respect and forgive and forget. No matter what may come your way, your combined patience, resilience, and love will make you an unstoppable team.